Thanks. Fuck the government. No, seriously. Um, I actually have a piece called Fuck the Government, which I've only performed once. Actually, no, I've performed it twice. But the first time was at Anarchapulco, and uh, it was well received. I'm not going to do it here today. Sorry. Uh, but it got me in trouble earlier this year. I was asked to MC another freedom oriented event, and uh, People found out that I was the MC, so they started digging into my work, and they came across that poem. And even the, um, what's it called? The Southern Poverty Law Center, they got involved. And they wanted to keep me from hosting because they said I used foul language and that I was racist, white supremacist. And it's ironic to me because even though I say fuck the government, what I do is utilize all language and all words. And to try to reduce what I do down to using foul language is just absurd. But uh, it did inspire a poem that I'm going to share. In fact, I'm going to be sharing only new work today or seldom utilized work of mine. So I'm going to be reading it off the page. I usually do a whole memorized performance. But I thought about doing that. But I really, this stuff's newer. And therefore, it's more resonant for me right now. And I thought. I take a little more of a bit more of a casual approach and hope you like it. And please turn your phones off. You know, just put put your phones away. Seriously. Turn them off, put them away. They'll be there when I'm done. So this is called Words, Words, Words. And I dedicate it to censorship. I'm at a loss for words. No, you're not. I don't know how to say, yes, you do. I can't explain it. You can explain it. There are no words. Not true. Hence why we have the words. Tis the impetus they exist to enhance, express, expound upon, describe, explain, assist. We need words, all of them, every single one of them, not of which warrants an omission. Omit permission and speak frankly, be it whispered, brisk, or rambly. Thus the privilege of shan't ever be forbidden. Even when one's got you there uncomfortable in your comfy chair, even when one's got you where you're angry and your nostrils flare, words themselves are harmless, emotionless, and armless. Words aren't warring, I'm imploring that a censored world is charmless. A word is just a sound. It's not smelly, soft, and brown. Can't punch or kick or drown. It's the energy infused you emotionally imbue it with. A menagerie of words, though, makes a man into a wordsmith. So be limber linguistically, have lexical complexity with spectacular vernacular and fantabular vocabulary. <laughs> In particular, a word I like is one that rhymes with buck. It's a very special word indeed, and it isn't luck or pluck. It's a good word. It's a bad word. It rhymes as well with suck. It's a naughty word, it's a potty word, more versatile than truck. Consider, however, your usage of it, or someone's panties might get stuck. This controversial word is a noun and a verb, an adjective, a pronoun, and an adverb. It's a preposition, a conjunction, an interjection, and can function as a substitute for words that are determiners. So for illustrative purposes, I present this uckwards lingual services. F with an uck er is a noun. Apostrophe s to an uck with an f is two. Uck with a capital F is a pronoun. Make a verb with an f uck you. Describing with f adding ucking activates its adjective ability. F plus uck ed is similar, though f ucking adds adverb capability. 
Add for before f ucking to make something conjuncting. Connect nouns to verbs with f words for prepositive constructing. Interject an f with an up to your little heart's content. Just be mindful of your audience and your f ucking intent. <laughs> now, all of that notwithstanding, and to curtail misunderstanding, a final point freestanding. Sometimes it's better to be quiet. Thank you. The good news is they kept me on as the MC in the event went great. It's just really funny to me that I was singled out as somebody who resorts to foul language to make a point. Ridiculous. Anyway, this next piece. Mm. I'm getting married in three weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which is a weird thing. <laughs> Not going to lie. I actually never thought I'd be actually be getting married, but I am. And she's amazing and she's usually with me at events like this but she's currently having her bachelorette party in Vancouver Canada so she couldn't be here um, but since we're getting married we also want to have kids and we feel like it's almost our obligation to bring new life into this world at this point because if we decided not to it'd almost be like throwing up the white flag and saying mm, this world's too messed up for us to raise children and I refuse to accept that um, so anyway Kids have been on my mind a lot recently. And I wrote this piece. I suppose it's to my future child or children. Perhaps it's to the inner child. I'm not sure, but I wrote it and it goes like this. It's called Little One. Hey, little one. Relax and take the day. Forget about tomorrow. Let go of yesterday. Hey, little one, I know you've lots to do, but time forgives, so time permitting, you'll have your follow through. There's lots out there to blind us, little one, from the beauty that surrounds us. Traps set to beget forgetting. We are consciousness encompassed. Distractions cause inaction, and lust can lead to greed. Gossip seeds to jealousy. Resentment fuels misdeed. So smile, little one. Smile every day and often. If tears arise, let them cry till joyfulness reblossoms. Be patient with the ignorant. They know not what they know not. You too have yet still more to learn, perhaps still more forgot. Hey, little one, feel the grass between your toes. Let sand slip through your fingertips. Take pause to smell a rose. Forgive the ones that hurt you and pity those in power. Their needs corrupt them absolutely, the taste of which is sour. But you, lucky little one, you know that life is sweet, that discipline springs to happiness indulgence ushers grief take a load off take it easy let the world around go by let loved ones know you love them with a twinkle in your eye it's okay to say i'm sorry it's okay to say goodbye it's okay to say no thank you but it's not okay to lie hey little one let opinions rearrange allow yourself abundance humbly be the brilliant change Take risks and be adventurous. Playing safely can be dangerous. Little one, hey, relax and take the day. Have fun, you funny little one. Enjoy and laugh and play. Thanks. Appreciate that. Um, okay, so. <laughs> okay, we talk about problems a lot, and I talk about problems a lot. I like to talk about solutions as well, but one of the things that people come back with when they don't want to listen to what I'm saying is they're like, Who, who's behind it? Who is it? And it's like, 
they are. Like, who is they? You guys ever get that? Who is they? Yeah. Prove it. That kind of thing. <laughs> right? So I wrote a poem called They to address that question. <laughs> they, they, they. I don't like they. They are ruthless. They are heartless. They don't care about our health. They are greedy. They are seedy. They rob us of our wealth. They deceive us. They mistreat us. They numb us with TV. They mislead us. They disease us. They say obedience is key. They put poison in the water. They put poison in the air. They put poison in the food supply. Then they tell us that they care. They engage in endless war. They send our sons away to die. They send our daughters away as well now under equality's disguise. They peddle pills to millions. They push debts into the trillions. They scare us. They impair us while they carpet bomb civilians. They teach us life is meaningless. They tell us all is random. They say have faith in scientists and authority in tandem. They are ubiquitous. They are omnipresent. They control the past from perches present. They plot and plan and scheme in secret. Exploitation, their great achievement. The puppeteering invisible all seers. The profiteering racketeers of fear. The cult of death to which mankind adheres. They are behind it. But who is they? Satanists, Zionists, globalists, socialists, people who script the news, Freemasons, Disney, Jesuits, the Vatican, NASA, Netflix, the Jews, bankers, aliens, the Clintons, the Queen, the Rothschilds, Henry Kissinger, Crown Council of 13. It doesn't really matter because the solution to they is we, us and you and me. They are pathological. They are pitiful. They are diabolical. They are miserable. They are wicked beings living wickedly. And their punishment is their wickedness. That's it. Thanks. All right. Let's see if I can lighten it up a little bit. Maybe get a little offensive even. Okay. So something that's happened mm, too often in the last couple of years is uh, I've, I've been told that my opinion doesn't mean anything because of the color of my skin true and, and also my gender and my sexual preference so I thought about it long and hard and I realized they were right gosh I'm just so privileged to be white <laughs> gee I'm so darn lucky that I'm white I get all the gifts and all the glory. I'm the king or prince in all the stories. Golly, I'm ecstatic. It's fantastic being white. Because I'm white, I get everything for free. Every bagel, bowl of soup, or cup of tea. I get kisses on my hand from the people on my land. I get dibs on every dollar because I'm white. I never have to work because I'm white. I never have to wish because I'm white. I never have to try because I'll probably never die. I never have to worry because I'm white. Being white means I'm above the law. Being white means I'm without a tragic flaw. Being white means I am loved above the rest from up above. Being white means I'm the best because I'm white. I don't pay for car insurance <laughs> because I'm white. I'm immune to AIDS and cancer because I'm white. 
I don't wait in line, pay taxes, fees, or fines. I don't have to care or raise concern because I'm white. Suffering, I hear, can really be quite awful. So certainly I'm glad that I don't do it. Pain appears to be rather uncomfortable. Then it's good I'm not subjected to go through it. Loneliness evades me simply because I'm white. Hopelessness eludes me solely because I'm white. Depression steers clear because I'm impervious to fear. Sadness isn't welcome because I'm white. I don't understand you because I'm white. I can't relate to what you're going through because I'm white. I lack compassion for your struggle because I live inside a bubble and I've never been a victim because I'm white. Life is easy breezy because I'm white. Life is super simple because I'm white. I never have to hope because my life is friggin' dope. <laughs> everything is marvelous, everything is glorious, everything's luxurious. Why? Because I'm a man. <laughs> we are individuals. We are individuals. We have empathy. Anyway, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll read this. Uh, if anybody follows me on YouTube or social media, they probably notice I use a lot of peacock imagery and peacock symbolism. I even have a necklace with a peacock feather on it. And it's because the peacock is my totem animal. And I did not choose this animal necessarily. It came into my life in a way that I couldn't ignore. It started popping up everywhere. The symbolism was just overwhelming. So I started seeing it as a sign. I started paying attention. I asked, OK, what does it mean to have peacock symbolism in your life? And I looked it up. And there's three aspects of a peacock symbolically. One is presentation. Peacocks are performers. Two is humor. Peacocks remind you to laugh. Their squawk sounds like a laugh. And three is alchemy. Peacocks will kill cobra snakes, drink their venom, and turn it into energy. So presentation, humor, and alchemy. I was like, that's me. It's perfect. So I wrote this piece that I've never spoken out loud before in my first audience. And I, I think I'll make this my uh, introduction for my forthcoming poetry book. Behold the magnificent peacock for whom the world's a stage. Excellence regales his feathered tail as he peacocks through the age. He's the embodiment of wonderment, a reminder to be wonderful. His eloquent self-confidence dances darkness back to colorful. Behold the playful peacock, whose squawking echoes laughter, a recipe for levity to help you laugh hereafter. He's a consummate professional, professing not to be so serious. He lets you know that letting go restores for more hilarious. Behold the mighty peacock, radiant and flourishing. Behold him as he takes a snake and makes its poison nourishing. The alchemy of malintent made good to make him strong, emboldened by the venomous to sing his squawky song. I am the peacock. Goo goo gajoob. <laughs> this is great. You guys are a really good audience. This is fun. Thank you. This is, this is also uh, proving something to myself, because I usually do a very rehearsed performance, and I'm just, I, I said I'm toning it down, and daring to just read off the page to prove to myself that the words are strong enough and I don't need, doesn't need to be the performance that uh, sells it. So, thank you. You don't have to clap for that. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to incite clapter. Okay. And this is my most, this is my most, sorry, this is my most recent piece. And uh, this is an idea I've been, I've been batting around in my head for months now. Because I feel like this is the crux of why I do what I do and why I think, well, maybe not why we all do what we do, but one of the things we need to keep in mind. Because we live in this, we're living in very chaotic times and the polarization is just out of control. And I'm so sick of arrogance. I'm so sick of hubris and arrogance and people being so sure they're right about everything. 
and everyone's being quarantined in their own little groups away from each other and no one's listening. So I'm really always focusing on how do I reach people. Even if they're driving me crazy, how do I reach them? So I wrote this piece. It's called Build Bridges. I just wrote this last week. I hate that you're a slave and that your slavery controls you. I hate that you're intoxicated by self-serving, greedy values. I hate the labels that you claim and the ones applied to me. I hate you get so angry on the points we don't agree. I hate that you're unhealthy, and I hate that you're depressed. I hate your hope that money someday will relieve you of your stress. I hate that you don't trust me, yet you trust opinions on TV. I hate your trust in candidates when they offer things for free. I hate that I feel hatred when all I want is peace. Hatred is insanity, and I wish that it would cease. Decrease. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release. Beneath emotions, there is calm. Let your heart apply its balm. Extend your mending, loving palm and build bridges, build bridges. Break down your walls, build bridges. Life's amazing, but it's a maze. Lies divide, build bridges. The fight is hard for everyone. No one's path is smooth. Isolation is universal. Desolation can be soothed. When you let down your guard, and build bridges. Don't be so hard. Build bridges. Focus less on differences. Be patient with resistances. Shorten up the distances with bridges. Destroy disinformation. Implode indoctrination. Pulverize polarization and build bridges. I don't have the keys for you. I don't have the tools. I didn't write the manual, I didn't make the rules. For me, my bridge is poetry, but sometimes it's a smile. Sometimes my bridge is silence while I listen for a while. Build a bridge to someone, to many or a few. Build bridges for the people, and they'll build bridges back to you. And I mean that, build those bridges. Now more than ever, don't just write people off. Like, figure out how you can reach them. Because I've, gosh, I got attacked on Twitter recently. I was called a 9-11 denier. 9-11 uh, denier. That's pretty out there. That's like extreme conspiracy. That's like saying, no, 9-11 did not happen at all. I deny that that event ever took place. That's out there. And really, to... Think about that one. I still don't get it. I hope that he just exposed himself for being a moron when he posted that. <laughs> uh, but speaking of building bridges, how are we doing on time, by the way? Am I like ahead of time? or 25 and a No. Five minutes. Great. <laughs> like, way too fast. Uh, OK. Speaking of building bridges, I posted this poem on my YouTube channel um, just the other day. Or maybe a week, two weeks ago. And I was surprised with how well it was received. Not because I didn't like it or I don't believe in it, but because the feedback was really extraordinary. And I was getting feedback from people that I don't ever hear from, people who aren't necessarily awake, like people from past phases of my life, um, friends on Facebook who I haven't talked to in years, who I've been trying to reach with other work and haven't succeeded. So I posted this, and I got responses from those people, and I thought, aha, I've tapped into something. So I'm going to read it for you now. It's called Not Alone. Run. Run away with me. Sing. Sing and dance with me. Hug, unplug, and walk with me. Laugh and prance and play with me. Hold, hold, hold on to me. 
caress, undress, and cuddle me, jump and shout and howl with me, cry, get high, and die with me. Let's leave, let's flee, let's fly from here, let's go, let's get away from here, let's live and give and thrive from here, let's be carefree and free from here, Let's rebel, let's excel, let's leave it all behind us. Let's be well and bid farewell to the paradigms that bind us. Hold me, hold me in your arms, gently pull me to your chest. Calmly calm my weary bones, rest me soft upon your breast. Tell me I don't have to pay. Tell me goodness finds a way. Tell me kindness has its day. Tell me all of it will be okay. Take, take, take my hand, let's leave it all behind. Arm and arm will disappear beyond the boundaries of time and crime and suffering. Cruel rules and people slumbering, insane foes and forms of governing. Run. Let's run and run and run and run. Outrun our own existence and exit with the sun. Free me from the evil, free me from the pain, relieve me of the shackles, relieve me of the chains. Let's go, let's go, let's get away, go forth post haste with no delay. If you slow down, I'll carry you. If you fall down, I'll stay with you. If you lie down, I'll lie with you. If you bow out, I'll bow with you. Just stay with me, stray with me, sashay with me and sway with me. Never say goodbye to me. Never ever say goodbye to me. Never ever whatsoever ever say goodbye to me. Don't run. Don't flee. Don't fly from here. Don't go. Don't get away from here. Stay. Let's stay and change this place. Harmonize, reorganize, and change this place. Align divine within ourselves. Shift, uplift, and free ourselves. I can do it, I'll go through it, just not alone. I can take it, I can make it, I can fake it, just not alone. I can meet it, I can beat it, I can defeat it, just not alone. I can celebrate it, I can elevate it, I can accelerate it, just not alone. Not alone, not alone. You are not alone. Do me a favor to always remember that now and forever, whatever, whenever, that you are not alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. That's it. I'm done. Uh, if you want to buy, I have copies of all these poems for sale. Just find me if you want to purchase a copy for yourself to share with your friends. The use as a bridge. Um, subscribe to Joy Camp on YouTube. Subscribe to Benny Wills on YouTube. And uh, friend me on Facebook, whatever. Follow me on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Let's be friends. Thank you.